Hey everybody, here we are at the Fort Hill Veterinary Clinic. Uh, Dr. Bigstaff and his team is in here, Dr. Debbie, and well, we got George. As you know, you've been following George. Um, we're gonna take George in and get his first, uh, his first experience with a, a, veterin a veterinarian. Dr. Biggerstaff, here at Quartz Hill Veterinary. This is the only place I'd go. <laughs> Dr. Biggerstaff. How are you? Well, good. As you know, we've had a child. Oh. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, and... Uh, yeah, he looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, his hair's a little more combed. Yeah, we've got a lot of it. A lot of it. That's, that's right. That's right. How long have you been in practice out here? 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. Yeah, getting old. Wow. Getting old. Yeah. So, so you've seen some seen some animals coming through here. A few. Yeah. A few. So I, I got to tell you, honestly, this is the first pet I've ever had. No way. Yes way. And uh, so... So it's been being a married is good for you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it grows the heart, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So being being a 12 weeks old, 13 weeks old okay. in that area, what 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 do we need to do? Uh, we're just going to give George a, a you know cursory physical today, and then talk about his vaccination status and his deworming status, and just real general health things. I mean, he looks wonderful. Um, you're not bringing him in because he's ill, no. So we don't have to address any specific history of an illness. So we're just going to start from a, a general well-being standpoint and. And discuss what he needs as far as you know his, his general preventative health care, vaccinations, deworming, and um, maybe diet, and, and, and yeah, probably diet and say no people food. No people food. <laughs> so, uh oh, I'm sorry. Did you already break that rule? I think so. Yeah, well, yeah. She told me about it though. Uh, but no, doing really good. Uh, but at, at this age, it's, it's important to come in and start. And start. Yeah, yeah, I recommend six to eight weeks start on the vaccinations. Um, the Animal Valley is notorious for that parvovirus. Um, it's a dry, windy area, and dogs that aren't properly vaccinated are very susceptible to it, and, and if they haven't been vaccinated, they'll probably get it, and it's fatal in a lot of cases. It's, it's a bad bug. Vaccines work good. I mean, compared to where I started 25 years ago, the vaccines are so much better now. Um, we can really provide some protection for these kids, but they got to get them. You got to know two things, that dogs need shots, and you got to know to call the veterinarian, and those are the two pieces of information you need to, to make sure your puppy doesn't get sick with that parvovirus. Well, I just want you to know you are, you are a family physician. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what, what we're excited about, about, about this ad in our life, and uh, it's been wonderful. Well, again, congratulations. He, looks, he, he, he goes good with you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, we'll show you more.